Welcome to Goyo's Garden and Tie-Dyes. I'm Greg. All right, today I will be doing three separate uh, tea sizes, I guess they're called. I'm doing a five, a three, and a two. Uh, this was actually Friday early evening when I did these uh, for a neighbor, for her, uh, I guess, great niece, and then the niece's nephews and nieces, I guess. Anyway, uh, it was a last minute thing, so I'm tying two of the girls' shirts exactly the same. The uh, two, or T3, and T5 will be tied with the stripes, and we're going to attempt a little burst or noids or whatever we're calling them. Yeah, this is the, the night before my sale. Thanks for all the nice comments that I have received from everybody. Really appreciate it. I had a blast. Weather was perfect for it, too. So, anyway, I just tied this up for the stripes. Uh, and it's a 50-50 blend. So, was it gonna, gonna guarantee anything on these ones? So, faded or not, she didn't care, so we're gonna do them anyway. I'm just gonna show the tying of the one. There ain't no sense to see both of them because they're both tied exactly the same way. I tried to get uh, three stars in each one. Easier said than done. <laughs> and this is the final of the 4th of July. There will be no more of these because 4th is almost upon us. I actually had to make some more dye for these because I didn't think I had to do any more. These just popped up. But that's okay. Glad to help. Besides, I like the little kid stuff. I always think they're cute. No matter how they turn out. Oh, forgot to scrunch the other one. That's what it was. Okay, this will just take a second. <laughs> so, as you can see, we have two of them identical, just uh, one's a three and one's a five. What was really scaring me about these was the blend because it just feels like it's going to suck the dye right in. Right? And this is a uh, T2 for the young gentleman and I'm going to do him a spider design but I wanted it legit so I'm marketing it I'm going to stuff the sleeves so we can have a big boy spider <laughs> or fireworks or whatever you want to call them I wasn't really counting on getting any white in any of these because like I said, these just feel like the dye is just going to suck right in. But good thing for the panda spin dryer. Spun them nice and uh, dry. You'd think the little ones would be easier, but no. They're not. <laughs> this is one thing I have a hard time with is... Uh, stuff in the sleeves and folds in them half. But if you take your time and do it, they turn out really well. And this is so small, I would have lost it. I hindered the splatter guard on the first turn. Let's try to work it around the best you can. It's a little dinky thing. Makes my hands look real big anyway. Yeah, 
have to go find some special rubber bands for these guys. Some of my first rubber bands. Okay, and I'm only going to show one dying of the Stars and Stripes, I guess. I've already done the one. And let me tell you, the die sucks right in. It's like I thought. But the only thing with this is you want to keep adding more dye because of the blend of the shirt. It constantly has those little white fuzzies on it. So I caught myself almost over dyeing it. Looks like I'm going really, really fast, but I'm not as sped up because this would have taken forever. But uh, the little noise or bursts, they're awful small. You uh, need something a little bit bigger so the die doesn't creep all the way up. All right, and here's the little spider one. Nice and easy, quick red. But like I said, the Little fuzzies are right there, and you think you need more and more dye. All right, well, here they are. She was very pleased with them. I like them, too. Uh, it's not as wide as I would like, but, man, it was so close. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you like it, please hit like. Thank you again, and everybody, please have a wonderful and safe 4th of July. I'll see you next time.